Is it a pondless waterfall? What is it? Well, oh my gosh, it keeps going. There's not a pizza delivery guy. There's no one that's gonna come to this home and not say something when they cross a bridge, a moat to get there. I love this path. And it leads you right into the pond. That's pretty cool, man. I like that. Hey, George. Yeah. Let me get you laying like that frog on the ground. Get out of here. <laughs> really? <laughs> All right. So we had a pond or a pondless, buddy? Uh, we got a pond. Got 11 by 16. All right. What a Good beautiful one. home. Nice neighborhood. So I'm Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy, and it's all about showcasing how people, including George Janowick's customers, live the Aquascape lifestyle. What town are we in? We're in Aurora. Aurora, Illinois. How you doing, sir? Fine, Carl, good to see you again. Carl, Carl, I'm the Pond Guy. Greg, so I've met you before? Uh, uh, you were having a party outside and... Oh, okay. Okay, so you've been to Aqualand. Oh, many times. All right, and so yeah, Georgie yeah. built your pond how long ago? Oh, originally, oh, what, 2004? Two oh, was that the first of those yeah, four? Yeah, first time. And then you rebuilt it, added on to oh, it, made it bigger? Out. We did a lot of brickwork. We put a fireplace back there for them. All right, let's go check this out. Someone's a gardener. And here's the pond. Look at that. Here we go. Nice. Beautiful. Is this your hobby, your wife's, both of yours? Both. That's nice to hear. So you've had this pond since 2004. Yes. And then George came, you built originally in 2004? Built originally 2004 using mostly granite boulders. You know? Yes. Um, we came back, uh, made it a little bit bigger. We brought in the weather limestone outcropping. Yeah. We kind of gave it a different look, made a double waterfall. I um, just changed it up a bit. So what what do you like about the pond? I like the sound of the water. Amen. Uh, in fact, we looked for George because this is a weak corner. Rose, we had expanded and they had a great big heating cooling unit over there. No little kids in the neighborhood. We live out here and I kept hearing that motor. Oh, from the George school behind you. George that. And yes. Your, your pond. And you got some pretty nice fish in here. Yeah. Oh, they got a fish cave down there. I think they're looking for some food there, Pops. You <laughs> So George, talk to me a little bit about the construction of this. This is a rework that we uh, changed the design with the weather limestone. It literally took us, I don't know, two days, maybe 60 man hours to do. Okay, okay. Uh, we brought in all this weather limestone outcropping. So before it was smaller rock, granite rock, yeah. and you wanted to upgrade to some bigger stone. We want a bigger pond. Yes, and this was the newer look that George suggested. Okay. Yeah. So we like doing this weather limestone outcropping edge where you can kind of just walk right up to the edge and get closer to the pond and, and feed the fish uh -huh. and interaction with them. Uh, the nice thing about having the pool here, we're able to bring our, our trucks and material right right back here. Oh, so nice it's access. Nice, easy access for us to do the construction. So here what we did mm -hmm. was we have the one pump is that feeds uh, the biofall filter. Mm -hmm. um, we also have uh, a pond vault, a pondless waterfall vault in the pond that feeds the spillway. So between those two, it really helps keep the pond clear. And clear. Yes. Uh, so we're getting a little bit of a pull off the bottom from the pond vault mm -hmm. that feeds uh, the spillway fall. And what would the investment be? Well, I mean, if you're looking for the starting point for 11 by 16, you know, mm -hmm. we're talking with the underwater lights, the upgraded stone, you know, this water feature would, would be in the starting at twelve thousand dollars, it's twelve to fifteen thousand dollars, mm -hmm. and you're looking at probably like a two-day installation or like sixty man hours for us to do this. Good investment. Wonderful investment. Well, you lived there for forty-seven years. Great therapy. <laughs> Amen. He actually pushes it away from him. He has a harder Noodle. time than the other one. He's not, he's not as coordinated, huh? <laughs> well, he makes like a an airspace and stuff, and so it goes away. Is it, each fish has a little bit different personality, doesn't it? Uh, to my wife, especially. <laughs> so she's the one that really gets into the fish. She feeds him, and yes, yeah, she would almost have him eating out of her hand. Yeah. <laughs> so what was your profession? I was a biology teacher. So 
a biology teacher that owns a pond. Not bad, yeah. huh? Yeah. You get to study ecology in your backyard. <laughs> exactly. I mean, Hummingbirds, all kind of birds coming. This summer, we got a, monarchs, only a few monarchs so far. Bees, yeah. So what would you say to somebody that's never had a pond? What, why has this brought enjoyment to your life? Well, as soon as you step outside, it's a very peaceful area. We've been here a long time, and before you stepped outside, outside the house, it was, the whole backyard was grass. Not, not a tree inside it. So we started from scratch. What do people that come to your house say? Uh, they enjoy it. They're always surprised when they walk around. They're used to seeing grass. They're not used to seeing an ecosystem water feature with a garden. Exactly. say about the maintenance with the aquascape ecosystem? Maintenance is uh, straightforward. The hardest part for us is that we do keep it going during the winter. So you got to keep it filled? I keep it filled and I keep the pond uh, it, it running and so on and a couple of cold days it gets a little iffy and stuff. It'll dam over and the, the water as you see it there will actually be running under the ice all the way down. But you covered with snow. And but you keep it going for the aesthetics. I keep it going for the aesthetics. It's, it's a different look. I mean, it changes totally uh, going into the fall and the winter. And then, of course, once the ice goes and the fish come out, why it's let me spring again. Let me ask you a question. Do you check on your fish every day? Well, I'm, yeah, sure. Absolutely. <laughs> We're out here every day. They're your pets. We're in the winter year round. Absolutely. 47 years living in the same house. What an amazing, amazing accomplishment. I don't know anybody that's lived in the house for 47 years, but look at this backyard. They've got the hot tub, they've got the fire pit, of course they got the pond and the beautiful garden. This is truly what I call living the aquascape lifestyle. It's not just about the water feature, it's how you use and incorporate it into the house and into the, your living and into your lifestyle. I think more people need to be living the aquascape lifestyle. If you agree, like, comment, and subscribe these videos so more people can see what living the aquascape lifestyle is all about oh man so this is right in the front yard yeah. George huh? is, this, yeah. is this a new pond uh, last year at this time okay so it's a year old I'm out here with gem ponds in Oak Brook Illinois right Georgie yep. and so we, is it a pondless waterfall what is it well, oh my gosh it keeps going yeah no it does I mean first they wanted a pondless and then uh, then they wanted standing water so basically it's, it's a pond hybrid type of thing where we're collecting actually rainwater too off the house that fills. Oh, up. that's cool. Well, what I love about front yard water features is it's just such curb appeal. There's not a pizza delivery guy. There's no one that's going to come to this home and not say something when they cross a bridge, a moat to get there. They wanted a wow factor here. Okay. They really did. And they wanted to make almost look like you're, you're walking into a resort. Well, that's the yeah. first thing that I thought. When I, we first pulled in, I just saw this half. I didn't even see up there. What's up there? You got, they got a stack well, slate urn. And... Yeah, they didn't want a waterfall up there, so we did the stack slate urn, which I love. That starts the point, and then they can sit here next to a, a gas fire pit place. Oh, that we nice. Put in. We did all this flagstone. We did the Unilock uh, patio here. And they've even got the fire option here for this. this That's this it. Bolt. They love it. So what was involved? I mean, this is a pretty extensive project. I mean, how many thousands of pounds of lime? It's all limestone, right? Yeah. Another thing, they, they were looking for more of a formal look. So uh-huh. We used some of the limestone they had. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This was an existing pond? This was an existing pond that was chewed up by uh, Musk chipmunks. Chipmunks, yep. Yeah, so the other thing is we did concrete cloth all the way across the bottom of it, so it's pretty much impenetrable. From so the, underneath the liner, you have concrete, concrete cloth. cloth. Yep. And that has stopped them. They haven't had done any damage. This is this project's a year old. Uh, it took us roughly a month to do. Wow. All this, the patio work. We had some machine access out here, so that was good. Uh-huh. Well, it's really, it's really spectacular. So were they happy with the end result? They love it. They really do.
Well, there is nothing that you could put in the front yard that will make this much of an impact. Explain the construction of this and how it actually works a little bit. We have the stack slate urn that starts with the whole waterfall here. We also have an intake on the bottom, so we're flowing more water into the system to make the waterfalls bigger as it goes down. Okay, okay. Uh, we took out an old skimmer, added more of an intake bay. They really didn't want the hassle of cleaning the skimmer. So because with the do, leaves in here, there's less there's less maintenance on an intake because it's a bigger surface area than a skimmer. Right, and you don't have to worry about it too much. You mm -hmm. know, you can come here at your leisure and just net out some of the debris that's fallen. Um, so we also have this waterfall here. Wow. Uh, the spillway fall um, into the vault system. So we have a, a double vault here. That so one, there's a lot of aqua blocks under here? With, yeah. How many aqua blocks did you use in this project? 20, 25 large. So basically, here. this is where the leaves come. Right. Because the underneath here is where the pumps are. They're in a pump right. vault, right? Here's our vaults here, so all the water is getting pulled into here. And then they have to come in with like a leaf net and scoop the debris out of from that little exactly. area. So it's a very, very low um, maintenance project. And they very rarely if ever have to have water because we're collecting water on this half of the house. So as this fills, uh, if it overfills, it'll just come out on the other side of the wall and spread out on the drop. Pretty darn slick. So there's got to be 50, probably 80,000 pounds of rock here. What do you think? Yeah, at least that, especially with all that we did. Maybe 100,000 pounds of stone in here. Wow. What would a project like this from Gem Ponds uh, retail for? Okay, so there's a lot involved here. Yep. We got a lot of um, lighting in here. We got the exterior lights. This is all lit up at night. Uh, looks beautiful. Um, so we got the two large pumps. We got all the aqua blocks in here. The concrete cloth, which adds to the cost. You know, this is anywhere between an eighty and hundred thousand dollar project. You know, I'm going to tell you right now, eighty to a hundred thousand dollars is a big investment. But how many people have a sports car that sits in their garage nine months out of the year when this thing runs 365? They do, yep. Beautiful. You added a little bubbler here? Yeah, they had this bubbling rock and they wanted to incorporate it, so we went ahead and used that. And these impatiens are planted right in the water, so right they'll just the continue water. to be always watered in a little bit of dappled sunlight here. Those impatiens will just keep flourishing. It's one of my favorite things to do. Mm -hmm. I have them in most ponds if I, if I can plant them. Almost every single waterfall in here is a sheet falls. That's what they wanted, yep. So it's a nice formal kind of a look. It's always the sheet falls. It doesn't make a lot of sound, but they've got the stack slate urn for some sound up here, and they just got these beautiful sheet falls, which I'm sure are lit up at night, right? Yeah, this whole thing is lit up. Yeah, you put, you put a little one watt light underneath there, and this thing will just glow from behind. Not a cheap investment, but it is a unique work of art, one of a kind custom creation. This is our art when we can create something like this for somebody. And like I said earlier, this is what a sports car would cost, but they get to enjoy this 365 days a year and make an impression. You wanna impress the neighbors, don't try to get the grass greener. Put in a front yard waterfalls. I love my job.